All right, hello, my tech drawing and design class. Today we are going to be setting up the floor plan for the block out. This is assignment four. I'm breaking this one up into two videos. This first video is just setting the file up. The second video will be to, uh, to start drawing. So again, this video is only about setting up the file. So you should already know how to do parts of this. So I'm gonna kind of be quick on the first part. Uh, which is you've opened a file, we need to go ahead and start setting the units. So I'm just going to type units. Press enter. And I want to be architectural. Again, this is stuff we've already done before. Uh, other things in our procedure, we have our limits. Our limits are 0, 0 for the bottom left corner. Again, this is nothing new. Uh, for our width, we are at 144 feet. So make sure you use the single quote there, 144 and then single quote. And then the length is 96 and a single quote. Press enter. That's it. Limits are done. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just do a zoom and all. And we are good to go. Now, uh, it says go ahead and save this thing. I was going to go ahead and I've already saved this thing in my Google Drive file stream. You can see the last name underscore block out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a save again. Again, make sure you're saving it in the Google Drive file stream inside of your tech drawing folder. Next, I need to do my settings. So I'm going to come down here to my snap settings. You should already know how to get here. Uh, so this thing is telling me that I don't need snaps settings over here I do need grid spacing for my grid spacing it's four feet so four single quote Take tab shift to the other one uh, I like to work off of 12 so I'm just going to take my major line every three this is not necessary it's just what I like to do make sure you turn off display grid beyond limits and there we go say okay and there is my grid and it's not showing beyond the limits. Going down here to the toggles, I want to shift over now to my O snap, which is right in here. And it says, uh, da, 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 da. I want to have endpoint on, which I do, midpoint, which I do, center, which I do, intersection, which I do, perpendicular, which I do and everything else off. So there we go. Endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, perpendicular. So we're good to go there, and it is turned on. I'm good to go there. Uh, next, it says fillet radius. So I'm just going to type in F-I-L-L-E-T-R-A-D for fillet rad. This is how I set my radius for my fillet option. So again, F-I-L-L-E-T-R-A-D. Press enter and X press zero and enter. Again, nothing new here. Uh, my toggles across the bottom. I have my snap mode is off, which is good. My grid mode, which is next to it on, good. Ortho, which is this 90 degree angle here. I need to turn that on. That's selected, it's now colored in, I'm good to go. And my O snap or object snap is turned on. Very good. So let me go ahead and save this. And now I can start setting up my preferences. So to begin with on this, uh, it says load line types and set line type scale. To get to these, you want to go to this properties area. Yours may be condensed down. You may have to select properties to drop it down. But we want to open up this properties area. And you're going to see the color wheel, which we've already used before. This is for changing the color of a line. Uh, so we've already done this one. The one below that that looks like different thicknesses of lines, that's your line weight. And then the one below that has different types of lines. You're going to have little dots. You're going to have dashes. Uh, those are your line types. But this is what we're going to work with here. So what I want you to do is next to that, you have a drop-down menu. It probably says by layer. If we select this, we can now see what layers are already or what line types are already loaded in here. We are going to select other. And this brings up our line type manager. Once again, inside of properties, I go to the 
icon here that has a bunch of lines that are dashes and dots. I grab the drop down menu next to it and I select other and it opens up my line type manager. Now I want to go ahead and yours may look like this, by the way, which is fine. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, now I want to load in some new lines. We are now at in step one, we're at step B and I'm going to load. You don't need to worry about what's up here at the top. What we're worried about is in here in this big box. And we need to scroll down until we find center. This is B, or number one, letter B, step one. We scroll down until we find center, which is right here. I'm now going to hold down the control keys, which is CTRL. I'm going to select center, center two, and center X2. And then I'm going to release my control key. I'm going to scroll down again until I find hidden. I'm going to press my control key again, and I'm going to select hidden, hidden two, and hidden two X or X2. So I have, I just, and I can release my control key. If I scroll up, you can see I have those three selected. I scroll back down. I have these three selected. So I say, okay. And this has now loaded these lines into the line type manager. You see center, center two, center X2, hidden, hidden two, hidden X2. If you only got some of them, you can go in here and load the other set. You can just continue as you load these in, it'll build this list out for you. Now, we need, that gets us through letter B of step one. And now we're up to letter C. We need to show these details again. So if you don't have the details across the bottom, come up here to show details and click it. And now we have our details. It says for number one, letter C, uh, we just did the show details for step one in there, step two, or step I, I, which is Roman two. My global factor, yes, my global factor, 24. So I need 24 in there. For my current object scale, we leave that at one, which is good. And then my paper, use paper space units for scaling, deselect that. So inside of this details area, I did something to two of the three. I put something in for 24 for my global scale factor. And I deselected use paper space units for scaling. This is now loaded in all of my lines. I have my details set. I press OK. Step one is done. Sweet. Let's save this. Next, we're going to create some layers. So to create layers, what we are going to do is come to this layers area here. And again, if yours is compacted down, go ahead and select the layers. It'll give you the drop down. But what we want is layers properties. Layer properties. And that's going to open up our layer properties manager. And this is going to allow us to create new layers. Now, you have layer zero, it's already there by default, leave that alone. You're gonna have these four icons across the top that look like five, or like sheets of paper. If I'm moving from the left to the right, the first one is new layer, the one next to that that has a snowflake that's frozen layer. Third one is delete layer, it's the one with the red X. And fourth one is select layer with the green check. So what I want to do is this first one here, which is new layer. When I do that, it gives me a chance to put a name in. I'm gonna turn my cap blocks on. And we are going to go through this list right here. So if you see this on your screen, this list of layers is what we're getting ready to build. So the first one, I'm just selected in here. It says layer one. I have that selected. I'm going to rename this walls underscore exterior very good and then I can hit tab it gets me out of there for the color I can just select color here and it's going to bring up a color manager for me for here instead of going through and finding the color exact I just come down here to the color I can type in it's supposed to be white I hit tab I have a white box sitting right in here which is good I say okay and then I can come here to my continuous, and I'm supposed to have a continuous line type, which it already is. So I can say okay. 
that's how you create a layer. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to talk as I create the next few layers. So I have created a new layer. This one is called walls underscore interior. Tab, my color, again, I'm going to select it, come down here, and I am going to type in yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W. Tab, enter. 30 second continuous. Very good. Create my third one, which is walls underscore furring. Tab, change my color to magenta. And again, all I'm doing is I'm going through this list. Hit tab. I have magenta block there. Say OK. Next one, doors, space, cabinets. And my color for that is yellow. Good. Next one, plumbing, P-L-U-M-B-I-N-G. My color is cyan. So I'll come here. Back down here, my color area, I'm going to do cyan. Good. My next one is elevations. Elevations, E-L-E-V-A-T-I-O-N-S. Very good. My color for elevations is white. Good. This one after elevations is dimensions. I M E N S I O N S dimensions. Very good. The color in here is red. So take very good. My text is the next one. So T E X T. My text needs to be green. What we're doing is we're setting the defaults. So anytime we select something by layer, this is what it's going to come to, and it's going to select these things. We start working by layer. Uh, text. Furniture is next. Furniture. My furniture is magenta. Magenta. Good. Next one is appliances. A P P L I A N C E S. Appliances. And my appliances are cyan. C Y A N. Very good. And finally, viewport. Viewport. The color for viewport is white. Now, there's going to be something a little bit different with the viewport one. Is it also talks about no plot here off to the side. So to do that, if you look back here with our properties manager, we had this plot column, and we have all these little printers. I'm going to select one for viewport. It's just going to put this little red circle in front of it, which is saying do not print or do not plot. So that's no plot. That is it. You should have your window looking very similar to this. Again, walls exterior, walls interior, walls furring, doors, cabinets, plumbing, elevations, dimensions, text, furniture, appliances, and viewport. You should have all your colors set. All of your line types should be continuous and the plot should be turned off for viewport. I can close this, and if I want to see what I just did, I've come over here to layers, and I can grab my layer drop-down, and there they all are. So I'm good to go. Whoa. So with that said, I'm going to save my file. I am now saved, and that is the end of this video for how to set up the file for the Georgian House floor plan blockout. If there are any questions, please let me know.